In differential geometry, a geodesic is a generalization of the notion of a straight line to curved spaces. The term geodesic comes from geodesy, the science of measuring the size and shape of Earth. In the original sense, a geodesic was the shortest route between two points on the Earth's surface, namely, a segment of a great circle. The term has been generalized to include measurements in much more general mathematical spaces, for example, in graph theory, one might consider a geodesic between two vertices, nodes of a graph. In the presence of an affine connection, a geodesic is defined to be a curve whose tangent vectors remain parallel if they are transported along it. If this connection is the Levi-Civita connection induced by a Riemannian metric, then the geodesics are locally the shortest path between points in the space. Geodesics are of particular importance in general relativity. Timelike geodesics in general relativity describe the motion of free-falling test particles. Introduction The shortest path between two given points in a curved space, assumed to be a differential manifold, can be defined by using the equation for the length of a curve a function f from an open interval of r to the space, and then minimizing this length between the points using the calculus of variations. This has some minor technical problems, because there is an infinite dimensional space of different ways to parameterize the shortest path. It is simpler to restrict the set of curves to those that are parameterized with constant speed. 1, meaning that the distance from fs to ft along the curve equals s minus t. Equivalently, a different quantity may be used, termed the energy of the curve. Minimizing the energy leads to the same equations for a geodesic here. Constant velocity is a consequence of minimization. Intuitively, one can understand this second formulation by noting that an elastic band stretched between two points will contract its length, and in so doing will minimize its energy. The resulting shape of the band is a geodesic. It is possible that several different curves between two points minimize the distance, as is the case for two diametrically opposite points on a sphere. In such a case, any of these curves is a geodesic. A contiguous segment of a geodesic is again a geodesic. In general, geodesics are not the same as shortest curves between two points, though the two concepts are closely related. The difference is that geodesics are only locally the shortest distance between points, and are parameterized with constant speed. Going the long way round on a great circle between two points on a sphere is a geodesic but not the shortest path between the points. The map TT2 from the unit interval on the real number line to itself gives the shortest path between 0 and 1, but is not a geodesic because the velocity of the corresponding motion of a point is not constant. Geodesics are commonly seen in the study of Riemannian geometry and more generally metric geometry. In general relativity, geodesics in spacetime describe the motion of point particles under the influence of gravity alone. In particular, the path taken by a falling rock, an orbiting satellite, or the shape of a planetary orbit are all geodesics in curved spacetime. More generally, the topic of sub-Riemannian geometry deals with the paths that objects may take when they are not free, and their movement is constrained in various ways. This article presents the mathematical formalism involved in defining, finding, and proving the existence of geodesics, in the case of Riemannian and pseudo-Riemannian manifolds. The article Geodesic general relativity discusses the special case of general relativity in greater detail. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Examples. The most familiar examples are the straight lines in Euclidean geometry. On a sphere, the images of geodesics are the great circles. The shortest path from point A to point B on a sphere is given by the shorter arc of the great circle passing through A and B. If A and B are antipodal points, then there are infinitely many shortest paths between them. Geodesics on an ellipsoid behave in a more complicated way than on a sphere, in particular, they are not closed in general see figure. <laughs> Metric geometry In metric geometry, a geodesic is a curve which is everywhere locally a distance minimizer. 
More precisely, a curve γ, I m from an interval I of the reals to the metric space M is a geodesic if there is a constant V0 such that for any t element of I there is a neighborhood J of t in I such that for any t1, t2 element of J we have d γ t1 γ t2 equals V T one minus T two display style D gamma T underscore one gamma T underscore two equals V left T underscore one T underscore two right. This generalizes the notion of geodesic for Riemannian manifolds. However, in metric geometry the geodesic considered is often equipped with natural parameterization, i.e. in the above identity V equals 1 and D gamma T 1 gamma T 2 equals T 1 minus T 2 Display style d gamma t underscore one gamma t underscore two equals left t underscore one t underscore two right. If the last equality is satisfied for all t one t two element of I, the geodesic is called a minimizing geodesic or shortest path. In general, a metric space may have no geodesics except constant curves. At the other extreme, any two points in a length metric space are joined by a minimizing sequence of rectifiable paths, although this minimizing sequence need not converge to a geodesic. <laughs> Riemannian geometry In a Riemannian manifold M with metric tensor G, the length of a continuously differentiable curve γ, A, B, M is defined by L gamma equals A B G gamma T gamma T gamma T D T Display style L gamma equals int underscore a carrot B S Q R T G underscore gamma T dot gamma T dot gamma T D T the distance d p q between two points p and q of m is defined as the infimum of the length taken over all continuous piecewise continuously differentiable curves gamma a b m such that gamma a topic p and gamma b q in riemannian geometry all geodesics are locally distance minimizing paths but the converse is not true in fact, only paths that are both locally distance minimizing and parameterized proportionately to arc length are geodesics. Another equivalent way of defining geodesics on a Riemannian manifold is to define them as the minima of the following action or energy functional E gamma equals 1 2 a b g gamma t gamma t gamma t d t display style e gamma equals frac 1 2 int underscore a caret b g underscore gamma t dot gamma t dot gamma t d t Note that all minima of E are also minima of L, but L is a bigger set since paths that are minima of L can be arbitrarily reparameterized, while minima of E cannot. For a piecewise c one display style c caret one curve, more generally a w one two display style w caret one two curve, the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality gives l gamma two two b minus a E gamma display style L gamma carrot 2 L e q 2 B a e gamma with equality if and only if G gamma gamma display style G gamma gamma 
is equal to a constant a e it happens that minimizers of e gamma display style e gamma also minimize l gamma display style l gamma because they turn out to be a finely parameterized and the inequality is an equality the usefulness of this approach is that the problem of seeking minimizers of e is a more robust variational problem indeed e is a convex function of gamma display style gamma so that within each isotopy class of reasonable functions one ought to expect existence uniqueness and regularity of minimizers in contrast minimizers of the functional l gamma display style l gamma are generally not very regular because arbitrary reparameterizations are allowed the euler lagrange equations of motion for the functional e are then given in local coordinates by d 2 x lambda d t 2 plus gamma mu nu lambda d x mu d t d x nu d t equals zero Display style FRAC D carrot two x carrot lambda DT carrot two plus gamma underscore mu nu carrot lambda FRAC DX carrot mu DT FRAC DX carrot nu DT equals zero where gamma mu nu lambda Display style gamma underscore mu nu carrot lambda are the Christoffel symbols of the metric. This is the geodesic equation, discussed below. Topic. Calculus of variations Techniques of the classical calculus of variations can be applied to examine the energy functional E. The first variation of energy is defined in local coordinates by delta E gamma phi equals T T equals zero E gamma plus T phi display style delta E gamma var phi equals left frac partial partial T right underscore T equals zero E gamma plus T var phi. The critical points of the first variation are precisely the geodesics. The second variation is defined by delta 2 e gamma phi psi equals 2 s t s equals t equals 0 e gamma plus t phi plus s psi display style delta caret 2 e gamma var phi psi equals left frac partial caret 2 partial s partial t right underscore s equals t equals 0 e gamma plus t var phi plus s psi in an appropriate sense zeros of the second variation along a geodesic gamma arise along jacobi fields Jacobi fields are thus regarded as variations through geodesics. By applying variational techniques from classical mechanics, one can also regard geodesics as Hamiltonian flows. They are solutions of the associated Hamilton equations, with pseudo Riemannian metric taken as Hamiltonian. <laughs> Affine geodesics A geodesic on a smooth manifold M with an affine connection is defined as a curve gamma t such that parallel transport along the curve preserves the tangent vector to the curve. So, at each point along the curve where gamma display style dot gamma is the derivative with respect to t display style t, 
more precisely in order to define the covariant derivative of gamma display style dot gamma it is necessary first to extend gamma display style dot gamma to a continuously differentiable vector field in an open set however the resulting value of 1 is independent of the choice of extension Using local coordinates on M, we can write the geodesic equation using the summation convention as d two gamma lambda d t two plus gamma mu nu lambda d gamma mu d t d gamma nu d t equals 0 display style frac d caret 2 gamma caret lambda dt caret 2 plus gamma underscore mu nu caret lambda frac d gamma caret mu dt frac d gamma caret nu dt equals 0 where gamma mu equals x mu gamma t display style gamma caret mu equals x caret mu circ gamma t are the coordinates of the curve gamma t and gamma mu nu lambda display style gamma underscore mu nu caret lambda are the Christoffel symbols of the connection this is an ordinary differential equation for the coordinates. It has a unique solution, given an initial position and an initial velocity. Therefore, from the point of view of classical mechanics, geodesics can be thought of as trajectories of free particles in a manifold. Indeed, the equation gamma gamma equals zero display style nabla underscore dot gamma dot gamma equals zero means that the acceleration vector of the curve has no components in the direction of the surface and therefore it is perpendicular to the tangent plane of the surface at each point of the curve. So, the motion is completely determined by the bending of the surface. This is also the idea of general relativity where particles move on geodesics and the bending is caused by the gravity. Topic. Existence and uniqueness. The local existence and uniqueness theorem for geodesics states that geodesics on a smooth manifold with an affine connection exist, and are unique. More precisely, for any point P in M and for any vector V in T P M the tangent space to M at P there exists a unique geodesic gamma display style gamma I am such that gamma zero equals P display style gamma 0 equals p and gamma 0 equals v display style dot gamma 0 equals v where i is a maximal open interval in r containing 0 in general i may not be all of r as for example for an open disk in r2 the proof of this theorem follows from the theory of ordinary differential equations, by noticing that the geodesic equation is a second-order ode. Existence and uniqueness then follow from the picard lindelof theorem for the solutions of odes with prescribed initial conditions. Gamma depends smoothly on both P and V. Topic: <laughs> Geodesic flow. Geodesic flow is a local R action on the tangent bundle Tm of a manifold M defined in the following way G T V equals gamma V T display style G caret T V equals dot gamma underscore V T where T element of R V element of Tm and gamma V Display style gamma underscore v denotes the geodesic with initial data gamma v zero equals v 
display style dot gamma underscore v zero equals v. Thus, g t display style g caret t v equals exp t v is the exponential map of the vector t v. A closed orbit of the geodesic flow corresponds to a closed geodesic on M. On a pseudo Riemannian manifold, the geodesic flow is identified with a Hamiltonian flow on the cotangent bundle. The Hamiltonian is then given by the inverse of the pseudo Riemannian metric, evaluated against the canonical one form. In particular, the flow preserves the pseudo Riemannian metric g display style g, i.e. g g t v g t v equals g v v display style g g caret t v g caret t v equals g v v in particular when v is a unit vector gamma v display style gamma underscore v remains unit speed throughout so the geodesic flow is tangent to the unit tangent bundle liouville's theorem implies invariance of a kinematic measure on the unit tangent bundle topic geodesic spray the geodesic flow defines a family of curves in the tangent bundle the derivatives of these curves define a vector field on the total space of the tangent bundle known as the geodesic spray more precisely an affine connection gives rise to a splitting of the double tangent bundle ttm into horizontal and vertical bundles t t m equals h v display style ttm equals h o plus v the geodesic spray is the unique horizontal vector field w satisfying pi w v equals v display style pi underscore asterisk w underscore v equals v at each point v element of tm here pi ttm tm denotes the push forward differential along the projection pi tmm associated to the tangent bundle more generally the same construction allows one to construct a vector field for any arisman connection on the tangent bundle for the resulting vector field to be a spray on the deleted tangent bundle tm0 it is enough that the connection be equivariant under positive rescalings it need not be linear that is cf Arisman connection hashtag vector bundles and covariant derivatives it is enough that the horizontal distribution satisfy h lambda x equals d s lambda x h x display style h underscore lambda x equals d s underscore lambda underscore x h underscore x for every x element of tm zero and lambda greater than zero, here d s lambda is the push forward along the scalar homothety s lambda x lambda x display style s underscore lambda x mapsto lambda x. A particular case of a nonlinear connection arising in this manner is that associated to a Finsler manifold. Topic: Affine and projective geodesics. Equation one is invariant under affine reparameterizations, that is, parametrizations of the form T A T plus B. Display style T maps to at plus B, where A and B are constant real numbers. Thus apart from specifying a certain class of embedded curves, the geodesic equation also determines a preferred class of parametrizations on each of the curves. Accordingly, solutions of one are called geodesics with a fine parameter. An affine connection is determined by its family of affinely parameterized geodesics, up to torsion Spivak 1999 Chapter 6, Addendum I. The torsion itself does not, in fact, affect the family of geodesics, since the geodesic equation depends only on the symmetric part of the connection. More precisely, if 
display style nabla bar nabla are two connections such that the difference tensor d x y equals x y minus x y display style d x y equals nabla underscore x y bar nabla underscore x y is skew symmetric then display style nabla and display style bar nabla have the same geodesics with the same affine parametrizations furthermore there is a unique connection having the same geodesics as display style nabla but with vanishing torsion geodesics without a particular parameterization are described by a projective connection topic computational methods Efficient solvers for the minimal geodesic problem on surfaces posed as iconal equations can be found in Topic Applications Geodesics serve as the basis to calculate geodesic airframes see geodesic airframe or geodetic airframe geodesic structures for example geodesic domes horizontal distances on or near earth see earth geodesics mapping images on surfaces for rendering see uv mapping robot motion planning eg when painting car parts see shortest path problem equals equals see also